Hello guys, welcome back to another Dead or Alive 6 video. In this video we're going to be doing some versus matches with my favourite character in Dead or Alive. Kazumi. Of course that's not Kazumi on the screen, that is Ryu Hayabusa. We're not playing as Ryu Hayabusa in this video. We're going to play as my favourite character Kazumi. We're going to play on a few matches with her. So if we go to versus, I think I'll be player 1. So the health is going to be maximum time limit. I have no limit on the matches. 3 rounds each. Well, three, first of 3 rounds wins. Four holds four way. The com level will have his level five. Yeah, I think that's a decent difficulty. The effect mode will have off, and yeah, I think that's perfect for me. Okay, let's go. So we're going to play as Kazumi, Kanuchi of Destiny. So I'm going to pick a costume for her. I think we'll have. I've not unlocked many costumes. I really need to buy more costumes for her. Well, we'll unlock more costumes for her. I think I'll get. Which one shot? I brought one. Oh yeah, let's use Kazumi Fins. So I actually brought this from the PlayStation Store. Yeah, let's use it. Why not? Let's use it in the video as I did buy it from the PlayStation Store. Okay, opponents, I think, will have as random. I think it'd be easier if we didn't know who the opponents were. Okay, I think we'll pick random stage as well. Okay, let's go. But I need a strength. Not some stupid title. We settled this. So my first opponent is Diego. All right, I'm up for that. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna fight Diego. Oh, he's got me. N not the best of starts. Yeah, I've got good. Not a terrible start. He chipped away quite a bit. Of Diego's health. Diego is hell of a good fighter. Diego and Jan Lee are my favourite characters to fight as in Dead or Alive out of the guys. Yeah, I think Diego is quite a good fighter. I enjoy his fighting style. I enjoy playing as him. I definitely enjoy playing as him in the story mode. And him and Jandy made it to the Dead or Alive 6 final. It's a knockout. I actually quite like the gym outfit Kazumi's wearing. I think it's quite a handy buy from the PlayStation strategy. Kazumi wasn't the only character I got the gym outfit for as well. I think there was a few characters that got it as well. I think like Hitomi and Li Fang, they all got the outfit as well, I think. It wasn't just Kazumi who got a gym outfit. I'd like to use a different costume for each for each for each episode of this. I don't know if I'll be able to use one for each episode I've got playing through. There's quite a few episodes. I don't have that many costumes which has. I don't really go on the PlayStation Store and buy many outfits. Yeah, I don't really waste money like that. I think maybe I... Maybe for the sake of this, for the videos I make, I might as well... Get... I might as well just buy some of the outfits for PlayStation Store and use them in the videos. I don't see why not as I'm using using it for video purposes. So it's 3-0 to Kazumi. We win. I will fight on. You can still, like with Dare Alive 5, you can also move the camera around as well. <laughs> Didn't get a good view of the character. And Kazumi's on the screen over there. I think my character's leveled up. Before resetting the save tile for this Let's Play, I was on level 20 something with Kazumi. So I've I've been hired in level 8 before. New BGM unlocked evolution. Okay, let's head to the next fight. A ninja? A real ninja. Well show. In the name of Mugen Tenshi. Got Diego again? I need a different opponent. I like Diego, but I'd rather, I'd rather fight with against different cats other than Diego. Holy crap, look at this. Where the hell are they taking us? Ah, oh, here. Alright, okay, that was pretty cool, I have to say. I definitely prefer some of the maps in Dead or Alive 6 over Dead or Alive 5 because the way you can interact with the environment is actually pretty cool. I think it's better. that is better in Dead or Alive 6 than it is in Dead or Alive 5. Okay, let's get a bit of a break line involved, and Diego keeps blocking it, not this time. Okay, that's nice. Diego's not chipped away any of my health yet. So far, so good. I need a different opponent. So I thought Diego want to. I wasn't expecting him to be on my opponent again. I need a different opponent. Get out. Okay, chipped away with my health. So far, Diego's not won a single round. Uh oh. Ouch. Perfect. Yeah, knock him straight down. <laughs> I need to do that more often. I was playing online on Dead or Alive 6 last night and I was actually having quite a fun time. I definitely want to make some Dead or Alive 6 online videos for my channel as well. 
I can't guarantee they'll happen because it depends on the internet connection of me and the other opponent I face. So I would like to make some online videos, but hopefully the internet connection will be alright so I can make the video. And that was a nice dodge. TA goes down. You'll never defeat Kazumi. She, she's too good. Okay, 2-0. So I'm still on level 8. I don't see myself moving up too much. Got some more points though. I'm going to use that to unlock some more costumes, I think. Okay, let's go fight again. Let's go find a different character to fight against. I challenge you. In the name of Mugen Tenshi. So this time we don't have Diego. We now have Elliot. Or at least we've got a different opponent we're going to be fighting this time. Oh, okay, that's a nice counter by Elliot. Yeah, I'm def these two videos would be perfect for practice. I really need to improve my fighting start skills if I am to go online and face other people. I think it'll be pretty interesting. When I was online last night, I won a few fights and I also lost a few. Unsurprisingly, I did lose a few fights. Obviously, I'm not the best at Dead or Alive, sit Dead or Alive, uh, well, with fighting games in general. If I play Mortal Kombat online, I would get my ass whipped. I wouldn't even be able to lay a hit on anyone. That's how bad I am at Mortal Kombat. Luckily, Dead or Alive is a quite an easy fighting game. I actually really enjoy playing. I love the characters and I love the the controls for fighting. And yeah, that's why I like Dead or Alive. Obviously, Kazumi's in Dead or Alive. She is my video game crush. That's why I love Dead or Alive. It's so fun. I don't know. In my opinion, I don't know what Dead or Alive would be without Kazumi. She, she's probably one of the easily one of the most popular characters in Dead or Alive. Easily the main. She's definitely the main character for Dead or Alive. I played Ninja Gaiden as well, but Ninja Gaiden I haven't played nowhere near as much as Dead or Alive. I do have Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1 and 2 on my PS3, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 on my Vita as well, and I've beaten Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, but not Sigma 1 yet. Maybe I'll play those on the channel someday? I don't know, because I actually do enjoy Ninja Gaiden. You will never defeat me. No one will defeat Kazumi at this rate. I think I need to pick a harder difficulty next time. I don't know, level 5 I think is a perfect difficulty. Maybe I'll increase at level 6 at some point, I don't know. Okay, new tiles are not in training. Look at all that money. Surely we can use that to buy more caution. Let's fight again. Our next opponent is Mila. Oh, it looks like she's, she's wearing a gym outfit as well. Yeah, so Kazumi wasn't the only gym outfit I... Well... If you go on the PlayStation and buy the gym outfit, it, it won't be just Kazumi who will get an outfit, also some other female characters will get it as well, like Mila, she's wearing hers as well. There's definitely many other female characters who have definitely got the outfit as well. Okay, if you want to kick, should do it. Okay, I need to catch Mila off guard like that. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> got her. Oh god, now she did exactly the same thing to me. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. I definitely enjoy playing as Mila in Dead or Alive 6. She fought against Bass in the tournament. I think she... she what? Yeah, she did win that fight as well. Even Tina was cheering Mila on. Obviously, Tina loves her father, but I think she was definitely rooting for Tina when the fight happened. Ah, crap. Okay, finish off the Kabu, and she's down. Just one more round to go. I've not lost a single round yet. I think when I, I should pick like a probably more more difficult. Maybe I'll do combat level six next time. Maybe so I think level five has actually been a beast mode. I played on level five last night and you know, I did lose a few rounds, of course, but I was expecting to get through the fight this season. It might get a bit more difficult as we go on. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. So I'm on a free win streak. Hopefully I'll win every single fight, but I'm sure I can't win every single round this video. That's just not likely. It's like, so far, Mila's really given it to me. You never know, she might actually win this round at this rate. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I've got her. Ooh, with only little health remaining. No, it's when she wears her usual outfit, Kazumi would wear like this little wear a sword instead of a weight. But as she's wearing a gym outfit, she wear, carries a weight instead of the sword. Little sword she has at the back on her casual outfit. Let's go fight again. Let's go find a different opponent. Let's see here. We settle this. 
Uh, Rydell. He was he was my last opponent in Dead or Alive. In Dead or 6. When in the finale we had fought against him. I actually managed to beat him first time. I was not expecting that. When I played through the finale, I finally managed to beat him, which is a very surprising. Ooh. I might not beat him yet though, because he's actually fighting quite a good fight here. There we go. First round goes to me. I think I just won that round. And this was on the map where Kazumi was ambushed by some of her clones and Ryu Hayabusa had to come to the rescue. If you want to know what happens, I think that also happened in the first episode, I believe. Yeah, I think it was the first episode of my Let's Play when that happened. Now it's when Ryu Hayabusa told Kazumi that Mist was still in motion. This round should go to me. Raidu did not have a good round then. Okay, start off like that. Chip away a bit of Raidu's health. Or Raidal. Raidu, Raidal. I don't know if I'm usually pronounce his name right or not. I always pronounce his name a bit differently. Raidu, Raidal. I think you pronounce it Raidal, but I'd always pronounce it Raidu. I don't know why. Maybe that's how they pronounce it in the UK. Oh, ah. Okay, I've lost quite a bit of health this round. Hopefully I can finish off right out. I do not want to fight this guy. I'd rather fight a different opponent. I hate this guy. Got him. Nice, got five wins. Sweet, looks like I'm going to level nine. I'm getting more and more coins as I do this. New DOA Expedia entry unlocked. Victor Donovan's ambition. Okay, let's go fight. Let's find a different opponent. Thanks for coming. Now fight me. We settled this. Bass. All right, we're gonna fight the big guy. Look at the size difference compared to these two. <laughs> I know Kazumi, I think, is only 5 foot 2, I think, in Dead or Alive, but I don't know how tall Bat is. He must be well, he must be at least 6 foot something. About 6 foot 4, 6 foot 6, something like that. I think Bat is easily the biggest character in Dead or Alive. I'd say he's definitely bigger than Bayman. Yeah, I'd say he is. And I think he might be bigger than Raidu as well. I'm not sure, I don't know if he's bigger than Raidu, I don't know. Possibly the same size, I don't know. He's definitely quite a heavy character. If you look at the statistics when you pick character, Bassett, I think, is definitely the heaviest character. He weighs a ton compared to most characters. Okay, cool. That's a good, st good start. I'm using the environment to my advantage here a little bit. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to use a break blow and finish Bass off of it. Maybe not, because he just encountered it. I think this is in Shanghai, China, I think, this map. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see it says Shanghai on the on the sign up there, so I think this must be Shanghai in China. Yeah, I think it might be. I didn't I don't know which map this is in for definite, so I don't really play on these maps much. Yeah, but I think this looks like it's Shanghai, China. Get out of here, Bass. Okay, so I'll finish him off with a break blow this time. That's if Bash doesn't finish me off. And he keeps countering it. There we go. Got him. Kazumi is sweating, look. That shows the amount of detail they put into the characters in this game. Okay, so we've got six straight victories. So I'm definitely getting more money, so this which is pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna need more money if I'm to buy more costumes. Okay, let's go fight, let's find another fight. Alright, let's get started then. We settled this. Lisa Hamilton, you survived the end of Dead or Alive 5. When when I played Dead or Alive 5 last night, I was not expecting her to make an appearance in Dead or Alive 6. I thought, near the end of the day, I thought she was killed in an explosion, but clearly she wasn't. She's got a different name, game, Maria Posa. I'd rather call her Lita Hamilton, because La Maria Posa sounds like it's a bit of a mouthful to say for me. So I think I'll just call her Lita Hamilton, that is her real name. So I presume he's off to a good start. I think when I, when I play the time attack and, and that, I think I'll probably... Or, and the arcade fire. I think I'll probably fight on level 6 maybe because I think yeah level 5 might be a bit too easy for me I can't win every single round so I think the future episodes I'll probably put it on the difficulty on level 6 the highest difficulty is level 8 and I don't think I'll beat level 8 because that, that will provide quite a bit of challenge for me leave me alone damn it okay she's shit away from my health I guess there we go I've managed to finish her off 
Okay, just one more round for me to go. Unless Lisa wins this round and I have to do another round and so on. Hopefully I'll win this round and Lisa Hamilton's beat. Nice encounter. Oh, ah. Blocking is my weakness in fighting games and, and in hack and slash games. I've told you guys that in quite a few videos, but that is my biggest weakness. When the enemy starts attacking, it's a very unlikely I'll, I'll block. I might block occasionally, but it's very unlikely for me because it's not a good habit for me. Okay, we won that as well. Okay, let's get to number seven. Okay, we've got seven straight wins. Will I go to level 10? Not quite. Okay, let's go do another match. Now to business. In the name of Mugen Tenshi. Oh, we're going to fight Christy. I hate this woman. Oh, out. Okay, good start. I love the music that's playing as well. We're in the parking lot and the music Cold Punishment is playing. The, the music Cold Punishment is now the music I've got for the... For the for the main menu of the game because it I think it's like I say it's definitely my favourite soundtrack in Dead or Alive 6 it was really difficult for me to pick my favourite I think I've gone with the decision that Cold Punishment is my favourite song in Dead or Alive 6 Cold Punishment I mean Cold Punishment I mean Road Rage that's the one I was on about why did I call it Cold Punishment Cold Punishment is probably the one I've, I've, the song I've known longest but it's called Road Rage a song not Cold Punishment it kind of makes sense because we're literally looking, it's looking like a road rage on this map, isn't it? Look at all the parked cars everywhere. I can't believe I called it Cold Punishment. Cold Punishment is also a very good soundtrack as well. Cold Punishment is probably going to be my second favourite soundtrack. Road Rage is my favourite Dead or Alive soundtrack. Yeah, I love the, the rock, and, rock and roll music of this song. This reminds me of Devil May Cry a little bit, this song actually. I don't know why. Just something about this music that reminds me a lot of Devil May Cry. Do you guys ever think that? Okay, knockout. Christie's down. Mugen Tenchi. So we've got eight straight victories. Will I go to level ten? I don't think so. Not quite. Almost. I think the next fight should do it. Okay, let's go find another fight. Come on, let's do this. In the name of Mugen Tenchi. We got Bass now. All right. So this map was in Dead or Alive 5, the boxing gym. Yeah, this was in New York City, and this... In Dead or Alive 5, you can, you can see people training here, and also in Dead or Alive 6, well, people also trained here. Tina and Zack were training here near the start of the game. And this is what... I think Tina brought Mida here, and they both started fighting, and... That was when Mida got the passion to start fighting in the Dead or Alive tournament again. Oh. Okay, so if I'm not lost any health, now I have. The second I say that, speaking of the devil. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of a break blow involved. Hopefully Bass won't encounter it. Okay, let's go. Hope I can get quite... Oh, yep. He countered it. I did think he was going to counter it. I just thought he, I thought he would. Okay, let's finish him off with... I was going to finish him off with a cartwheel, but he countered it. Okay, here we go. Now I finish him off with a cartwheel. I mean, Kazumi's cartwheels look deadly. They're definitely a very effective move. They're quite satisfying to pull off as well. Now it cause plenty of damage, but it can also throw the opponents off guard as well, and you can follow up more moves with it. Okay, caught Bass off guard there. Ow, ow, ow. I need to start blocking more. Okay, I'm going to block. Oh, I blocked, but he used a completely different attack then. Perhaps he read my move. Uh, I think I might have lost this round. Oh no, he's going to throw me around. Okay, Bass got that round. Alright, I've finally lost the round. I can't win every single round. Okay, a good start. All I need to is win this round and then... I've won this whole fight. Kazumi and Bass are having a lovely sparring session. You can see people training in the background. Well, I don't know if they had that in Dead or Alive 5. I think they did have people training in the background. I think they did. I can't remember now if they did or not. If they did have people training in the background in Dead or Alive 5. Boom. Got him. Okay, I've got 9 victories. I think I'm going to do one more fight and go to 10 victories. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. Okay, we're on level 10 now. Nice. A new course was unlocked in the time attack mode. 
All right, let's let's do one more fight. Kokoro is my last opponent. All right. You notice that Zack Island is not actually available in Dead or Alive 6, which is my favorite map, but instead we got Seaside Eden, which is a very similar map. It's basically, it basically looks exactly like Zack Island, but it looks very similar anyway. It's, def it's definitely it's got the same vibe as Zack Island, so yeah, I like Seaside Eden. I'm happy with that map. Hopefully I'll play on it eventually at some point in this Let's Play, when I play through, because it diverses all the time attack, Ho well, the arcade and time attack. Hopefully we'll play on that map eventually, and she just countered me. Take that. Nice Counter-Strike. I like the music that plays here as well. When you're in the, the fighting area of New York. See, this is in New York. I, yeah, I think this is in New York. Yeah, I think it is. A very dirty part of New York anyway. Yeah, it's definitely in, the, in, the, in a back alley somewhere. I definitely wouldn't want to be walking around here. I definitely wouldn't want to be in this place. But if I walk around here before I know it, I'll be in the hospital. Especially if Diego is here. Nice time walking here and you charge me to a fight. Okay, that's two rounds to me, just one more to go. I don't know whether this is actually a, a real street in, in New York. I don't know whether this is based on a real street. It might just be made up. I don't know. New York definitely has plenty of streets, back streets like this. I don't know whether this... Where, watch which back street this is. He just counted it. Break hold. Okay, I just need one more win. Oh, that was... That was... That took a lot of damage. Okay, let's finish off Kokoro with this. Okay, she's down. Kazumi is the winner. We've got 10 straight victories. Nice. So I've now got over 10,000 coins. All right. I'm halfway there to getting more costumes. I think we'll leave there. I think I've done plenty of fights here. Let's go back to the main menu. Return to the main menu. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I do. Okay, we're back on the main menu. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I want you to update all of Dare Life 6 videos uploaded to my channel. We've got Brad Wong on the screen now instead of Ryuhei Abusa. And in the next video, we're going to tackle the arcade mode with Kazumi. Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll definitely go attack that with Kazumi. Let's see if I can win every single fight again. I'll probably, I might increase the difficulty a little bit because I think that was a bit too easy. I think level 5 was a bit too easy. I think we'll do level 6 next time. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah, level 6 sounds like a perfect difficulty for me. Okay, I'll see you guys in the arcade mode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Goldie X and I'm out.